Okay, so we've all discussed what is unconscious bias. But that's not good enough, I'm sure you're saying to me. You might know the meaning of unconscious bias, but where are you getting it from? How do we all have unconscious biases is probably what you're asking yourself. Well, unconscious bias can happen in many different ways. For the purpose of this conversation, I'm going to try and explain some ways that you and I may have unconscious biases. So the first one that I want to talk to you about is something that I call the backpack theory. Now, you can call it something else if you like, but just go with me on this. So just imagine that when you're born, you're born with a backpack on your back, you know, a rucksack, one of those that you can see everywhere you've gone, you've seen people carrying these backpacks or these rucksacks. Let's go with me on this analogy. So this backpack is on your back. And as you go through life, what you do is you chuck stuff into it. So for example, you might chuck stuff like where you're born, maybe the order of birth, perhaps um, your parenting, perhaps um, what happened in your early childhood. Maybe you were born in, in one city in India and then you moved to another city when you were seven years old, like I did. Um, maybe, I mean, all kinds of different experiences. Uh, then the friends you make in school, uh, the stu subjects that you study, and so on. And you are all adults, you are now all working adults who are watching this video. So it could be university, it could be colleagues, it could be all kinds of different things. Now, you can't be chucking every single life experience into your backpack because that backpack will get very heavy, obviously. But what you tend to do, and this is about human nature that I want you to understand, what you tend to do is you throw stuff into it that are either amazingly wonderful, positive memories that make you have a nice warm glow and make you feel so wonderful, or horrible, difficult, traumatic memories. Now, why would you put these horrible, traumatic memories into your backpack? You're probably asking yourself that. Well, you don't realize you've done it. Don't forget it's behind you, right? So you've chucked it in there to keep yourself safe. Now this is a very, very important concept that I want you to try and understand. What do I mean by keep yourself safe? So let's imagine that you have had a very difficult traumatic experience by a particular group of people or a gender or a, or a ethnicity or a religion or a situation, something. You all are listening to this you can all think about your own stories in your own head. And because you don't want to repeat that experience again, what you're doing is shoving it into your backpack to keep yourself safe. I don't know if that's making sense to you. So what I'm going to do is give you an example. I'm just gonna make up a little story. So let's imagine that um, you are, I don't know, 15, 16 years old and you are in school and you're in a co-educational school and you have a big crush. So this is like your first romantic crush on somebody in your school, maybe in your class. So every morning and every night you wake up and you go to sleep and oh my God, isn't that person so wonderful? And you have, you know, your heart is going like this every time you see them and you just totally madly in love. This is as far as you are concerned, this is what you think about. Let's imagine that you, who is listening to the story, is from, I don't know, from Bengal. And let's imagine the person who you have this big, big crush uh, with, or two, is from Kerala. So you are thinking about this person who is from Kerala, and you just go, oh my God, amazing, wonderful, and so on. Now fast forward a couple of months, two or three months, and this person that you have a big crush on comes to you. And is really rude and mean to you. I mean really mean and says will you stop it, will you keep stop following me around and sending me notes, will you leave me alone? Your heart is broken. You are only 15 years old. You have never experienced anything like this in your life. You are so devastated. Now you are nowhere near the age of 15 right now. You could be 45, you could be 35. You are listening to me and you still remember that time of 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when that happened to you. Well, you 
without realizing it, maybe thrown it into your backpack. So fast forward, you are at work, you look amongst your colleagues, ask yourself, do you have any friends from Kerala? Perhaps you have, without realizing it, avoided all Malayalis. You won't have anything, nothing to do with anyone from Kerala. And you haven't even realized that. Your friends are all over the world because you don't even live in India. You live in the United Kingdom. You have all kinds of nationalities, including many Indian friends. But there isn't one single person from Kerala amongst these vast groups of friends. Why is that? It is because you have still kept that in your backpack to keep you safe. So there is an example to you of what I call the backpack theory of how we have unconscious biases.